Yo, shalom, all praises to the Most High, Yo, Yahushua. This is YYBY. My people, check it out. I'm about to get straight to the point. I'm about to be straight out, serious, blunt, direct, no bias about these two dogs. I'm about to really let people know, and my purpose of telling y'all this to help those who, uh, who are trying to spend money for a dog. And the reason why is because when we spend money for a dog, sometimes you can't even get a refund. So you spend all this money um, and you can't get no refund back for the dog. And a lot of the times, some companies only give you a certain version. You can't get the full version or you got to go through a headache like using the Windows just to download it because you got to use a, um, you know, like a, a licensor, Keygen or something like that, whatever you want to call it, like a licensor. And you got to use that to, to, to use the software and all that. So sometimes people don't have a time to go through all that. They just want to download it, use it right quick, play with it, then blow, okay, now I'm going to spend my money for it. So, to get straight to the point with these two dolls, the number one thing I want to tell people is this. It's about what you want to use. It's about what you're looking for. It's about what specific thing that you do. Some producers, some engineers, some mixing and mastering, some comping, some only do, you know, uh, you know, video design, video editing, whatever it is. Some people just all around people, right? Like me, I'm an all around person. And I'm going to be straight real with y'all. I just bought the Windows 11, it's 900 and something dollars. Yes. Now before that, I was using Cubase. Years ago, I was using Cubase. I used every doll. I had every doll. I still got them, man. And one thing I learned with these dolls is that they both all got pros and cons, right? And um, I've been in the window. I've been a Studio One user since version two. Since version two. Um. And I fell in love with Studio One. Oh. And through times, it's missing certain things that you want to use that other dolls have. And then Studio One start upgrading, adding more stuff to it, stepping the game up with the production. You know, tough. You know, always been simplicity simple. Now, when I got this new Windows 11, right? I'm going to be real with y'all. The Windows 11 got have way more options than studio one <laughs> the window it, it's the small things what counts with me the windows 11 uh is compatible with 4k hrdpi it's an all-around doll for everything from from anything you could think of it it has it um uh yeah you can use key commands to make certain things easier right uh when it comes to track mixing everything the sim you know it it does way more than studio one it does way more if i'm gonna rate this if if it's out of a hundred if out of ten compared if stu the, the things that studio one do one out of ten i say a seven when it comes to new windows 11 I would say a 10. The Windows 11 does way more. But again, it goes back to this part. What do you specifically need? What do you really need in your dog, man? Because everybody don't do everything. An engineering guy will have a different perspective from a guy that just want to produce and produce music. It's a different mentality when you are a creator, a producer, an artist who does mixing and mastering and engineering and so on and so forth compared to a guy that just mixing and mastering, record, and everything else is last. Or game design or put sounds behind movies and everything else is last. They have a whole different perspective because, you know, that's why some people really love the windows. You get what I'm saying? So yes when it comes to features the windows 11 has way more features than studio one studio one has all the important features but this is the thing though studio one takes the things from other dogs and make it better they make it better they make it with way more simplicity 
simple, straight to the point. And the windows, you got to go through all thousands of settings and everything. One simple thing, if you want to just select, if you want to group these tracks, one, you click one, two, three, four tracks and you click them. You got to press a button to link the tracks. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to do something else to color the tracks. You know, you have to go through other two options just to do anything. Or you have to get off the mixer and go to the, 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 the sequencer just to do a job, a task. In Studio One, I could just select the tracks, a quick selection with, with shift and, you know, or control and color those tracks at the same time. Or, you know, or bring the level up on those tracks at the same time. In, in the Windows and Cubase, you have to select the tracks, press Q link, then bring the level of the tracks up. Or if you want to color them, all those tracks at the same time, you have to press Q link, select the tracks, Q link, and then go to the color thing. I, then select the color. Like they do too many steps. They 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 did they, they what they do, they pack everything on top of everything instead of making it simplified. It's about simplicity. And this is the reason why producers and engineer not producers and artists and, and, and producers like Studio One More because it doesn't slow down the creativity of your music of what you're doing. The simplicity of Studio One can't be touched. The simplicity is just straight to the point, raw. It's not a thousand screens, you know, drag and drop, boom, drop it on there. A lot of things you don't got to think about. If you already have the experience with a doll and familiar to a doll, you know, the simplicity is already there. You don't got to sit there and think like, what do I got to do just to get this point done? Or, or now I got to go read something or figure this out just to do this and that when it's common sense. You can just click and boom, the options right there. You know, uh, the things that you got to go through in the windows and Cubase to group tracks, not, well, not group tracks, uh, to erase a track, to erase a VSC instrument. If I want to do multi instruments, if I want to get one VSC instrument, drop it in. A second VSC instrument with a sound, drop it in. A third VSC instrument with a sound, drop it in. But I want to play all those simultaneously together, but I want to be all on one track. You got to go through all this rigging and configuring and all that. It's, it's ridiculous, man. When in Studio One, you could just get the track, drop it, right? Get the next uh, VSC instrument, drop it. It'll ask you, do you want to take over or combine? Once you press combine, boom, they all together. Press the keyboard, play it. They all playing together. You can go inside, tweak it, whatever you want to do, rig everything up. The point is that it don't slow your creativity down. You can do all the extra stuff later. You know, uh, now, like I say, the Windows overall has more options. Like, I, lo I love simple things like pictures on the tracks. The Windows has options where you can you can change a lot of things on your, your you know, the way, way you want your door to look. You know, it got a lot of options and features when it comes to that. It got way more plugins. It have more creative plugins. Uh, but again, Studio One has all the important things you need and the simplicity is beyond and killed the windows and cubase the simplicity is ridiculous man let me tell you something and and, and and it helps you man get everything done down pat um and end of the day you know i found myself more uh i love features i love options but I find myself more, even even when I change my key commands, I change all. As a matter of fact, I went inside the Windows 11 and changed all my key commands to how I function in Studio One. And some key commands I couldn't select, you know, based on how I zoom or something. I couldn't do it. It wouldn't allow me to do it. But most of the key commands I picked. And uh, it helps a lot, but it's still a lot of things in, in, in the Windows 11 and Cubase that doesn't make sense when it comes to options of doing things, man. It's like they just got clutter on top of clutter. Like, they need to revamp it, just take everything out and just uh, uh, do a clean slate with it, you know. And I know that take a long time, but they got time before the next version come out. Just do it. Just recode the whole thing, man. You know, because it, it's... It, it, you have MIDI tracks that you you got to think about deleting. You got to figure out like how you should be able to click on it and press delete, or click on the track, right click, right click, 
and see an option and say remove track or delete. You got to go through all this other stuff just to delete certain things, man. If it's a regular track, yeah, you can delete it. It's the simple things what matters when it comes to creating, man. And um, and the Windows don't have that. And I know a lot of people going to get on here and say, yeah, you know, you know, key commands. Yeah, I know. But even if you use the key commands, it's still a lot of things don't make sense. Like, for example, it's like Studio One designed to where it already knows what you want done. How you want your files to be saved. How organized you want your stuff to be saved. When I download these new samples, I can just drag it and drop it in and it downloads and it download everything. You know... In New Windows 11, with my presets, you gotta you gotta find out. You know, it, if I select, if I want all my files to be saved to my external drive, I shouldn't have to go find my presets, my plugin presets, and go find this and find that just to so it can be saved inside my external drive. Once I click the folder where I want my stuff to be saved inside of Studio One, it saves everything. My presets, my sounds, my plugins, my uh, 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 my key commands, everything. It, it just it organizes it so well. They put so much well thought into of uh, designing their stuff with straight simplicity. Even downloading things, even even uh, when it comes to mastering, even when it comes to mixing, you know, grouping your tracks. Another thing I hate that. The Windows 11 been out so long, and the the Windows, you know, Steinberg is, you know, been out way longer than um, Studio One, and you know, the guys who run Studio One used to work for Steinberg. So, some things you think they should already be ahead of Studio One. Again, to be real with you, Steinberg always come up with the ideas before Studio One most of the time. Steinberg have most of the ideas of different things like uh, uh, ARA or, you know, uh, uh, what, what else, what else, what else, um, offline processing and, you know, you know, the tech cords and many options that Studio One already have available, not Studio One, but the uh, you know, Windows and Cubase already have available. See, but the difference is Studio One get it and just make it better. They make the simplicity better. They make it better straight to the point. Because you got different people in this world, man. Some some think straight ahead and some think all over the place, man. They got to go through many options, 100,000 options just to get something done and all that. And it doesn't make sense. How you doing? Yeah. Um, and, um, and the whole idea is about simplicity to keep the creativity flowing. And again, when you're dealing with guys like who who only engineers and, 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 and mixing and mastering, they might don't look at the situation that way. They might don't look at it that way. But if this is your business, not only your passion, time is money. Time is money, man. Time is money when it comes to dealing with doing this, this, this music thing and creativity and all that and everything. How y'all fellas doing? All right. And um So the whole thing about accomplishing the situation you have to um They two great dogs. But for the guys who want to spend money on something and the windows have a serious learning curve. And even if you learn that curve, it got other curves that don't make sense. To 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 Simple guys, man. It does, it's simple things like VSC instruments, drum machine. Get the drum machine, drop it in. You got to go through so much just to link your tracks to the mixer. You got to really search and find how to mix it. And what I want people to really understand clearly is that the Windows 11 have more options than Studio One. A lot of the times they come up with the more faster ideas than Studio One. But Studio One take these dolls' ideas and make it better. 
and simple. Straight simple. Where it's refreshing, it's relieving. It don't look cluttered. It's not, you don't have to go through three, four things just to get one thing accomplished when it don't make sense. When grouping tracks, when I want to group tracks, I should just be able to click one, two, three, four and just change the levels because when you group your tracks, there's two things you probably want to do anyway. It's common sense. You probably want to level, change the levels of them, name them the same thing, color them the same thing, or group those, or, or put them in a bus or something like that. Why I got to go through all these other options just to do this? And I'm only naming a few things of about New Windows 11 and Studio One. There's so many things in detail that you can, I could talk about, but even in the options, you know, you got audio, you got options everywhere in, in New Windows 11. You got options that serve the same purpose being different uh, options. You got to go in the studio, go way down here to something else that got something to do with this up here. When, when you're Studio One, you go to Options, anything with the audio, boom, it's right there. Everything all in one area, one place. That's simplicity. That's simple. It, it don't got to be scattered. No Windows 11 is like a person who's in a room. They got everything in their room they need, but it's all scattered all over the place. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a different perspective. No Windows 11 is like a person with a computer with a computer on their desktop right they got all the apps and files on their desktop everything is they got everything they need on their desktop but they all scattered one right here 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 they just all over the place so when you look at the screen you so you looking like what the hell studio one is like on the desktop on this on the on the screen they all neat they all lined up all together the apps together, the folders together, the icons together, that's together. And when you look at it, it's easy to identify what's what. That's the difference right there, people. That's it. And I like Studio One better. Peace.